we have something new that we've built. This is a gray water system. And what happens is this water coming out here is gray water from the bathtubs, from the sinks, from the washing machine. And it goes in this tank. Inside this tank is a couple of air stones, which are bubbling up all the time to help oxygenate the water as it comes out. That doesn't remove that soapy uh, smell that you get when, uh, when soapy water has been left to sit. This goes into the toilet for flushing the toilet because we don't want to use clean drinking water to flush our toilets. That's a waste of expensive and clean water. And then some of the water is diverted through here and goes into this slow sand filter. When I open this up, you can see that there's 75 centimeters of sand. I've got some tiles on the top so that as the water goes in, it doesn't disturb the top layer where there's a schmutz deck of bacteria and protozoans and algae growing that will eat all of the, hopefully, the bad stuff that's in the water. Then as it goes down 75 centimeters of nice fine play sand, then we have fine rock um, gravel and then we have a larger grade gravel. So we start at 2 to 5 millimeter gravel, 5 to 8 millimeter gravel, 8 to 16 millimeter gravel, and then we have 150 potato sized stones, sort of these stones, down here uh, surrounding the pipe that gathers the cleaned water once the water drips through. And it does go through fairly quickly as you can see. Uh, this is about the rate that we get. Uh, we're dripping water in, we're dripping water out, and because we only set this up two days ago, it still has a bit of a soapy smell because the bacterial colony have not yet developed the schmutz deck layer that makes this work. Right now it's just the sand that's doing the filtering. Once the bacterial layer develops up here at the top and going down about 20 centimeters, that should eat all of the pathogenic bacteria, take care of a lot of the organic compounds, and produce pretty high quality water. That's what we're checking to see. We want to see if homes particularly in the developing countries, can recycle their water, can recycle their garbage, and make energy and clean water for them to use again. That's part of the Solar Cities uh, mission, as well as growing food, because between the gray water and the fertilizer that we get from the biogas system, we're able to grow uh, thyme and oregano and uh, uh, lemon, uh, lemon verbena and mint and parsley, and uh, all sorts of different uh, herbs, from basil to onions, also berries of different kinds, from these beautiful raspberries here that we get. And they do grow quite well because of the fertilizer from the biogas system. So you can grow a lot of food on your porch or on your roof. You can recycle your wastewater, and you, we can recycle your kitchen waste and produce energy that is climate friendly, is carbon neutral, and hopefully we can make a contribution to making the planet better for all of us. Thanks. It should be nice and hot. It's been on for eight minutes. Go away, please. Don't film it. It's a nice blue flame. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Once they're done, we're going to cook zucchini and aubergine. So we're at 20 minutes, and we've still got gas, and 
the sausages are looking good. And let's go take a look at the porch and see how our gas is doing. So it looks like we've probably got another five, maybe ten minutes of gas left. Ja, also die Biogasanlage funktioniert ausgezeichnet. Wir haben jetzt eine durchgängige Flamme, nunmehr seit 26 Minuten. Ja, funktioniert wunderbar. Wir sind mit beinahe fertig, weil sie jetzt nicht 26 Minuten gebrutzelt haben, sondern lediglich ja, 18 Minuten sind sie jetzt in der Pfanne. Dadurch, dass der Gasdruck nicht so hoch ist, haben wir eine relativ niedrige Flamme. Aber sie reicht aus, um ja, an die Würstchen fertigzustellen. At 29 minutes, I put a stone on it, because the flame was getting small. Now, oh, now it's really strong, because I put a brick on it. Yeah, of course then it won't last as long, but it's almost done anyway. We're in the last uh, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. There's 30 minutes of gas. Of course, when I put the pressure on, you can then regulate the pressure with the valve. So you can save some of the gas and still have the pressure. Because there is a valve, a valve regulating. So theoretically, we could put weights on it and just regulate the pressure from here. Well, it looks like now it's, uh, it's about to give up. That's it. Okay. And so here is our first collective biogas meal, thanks to you. Guten Appetit. Danke. Sehr gut.